Hello, I'm Ray Wills, and we're very pleased today to be speaking with the director of the next production at Wichita Grand Opera, La Boheme. Uh, welcome to Wichita, Miss Laura Alley. Thank you very much. It's and wonderful to be here. Well, we're very happy to have you. I understand, well, I know you're very accomplished, and you've directed all over the country as well as internationally operas? Some, yes. Uh -huh. What did what, what you, you just do recently? Uh, currently, I'm on the faculty at Manus College of Music, oh. which is now a part of the new school. And we did, uh, what, what did we last, oh my gosh. Um, we did Little Women, that's what we oh. did. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, and this summer, I was able to go to Tokyo, and I worked with a young artist program there for a couple of oh, weeks. Exciting. Yes, yeah, yes. I teach too, and I love it. It's, it's wonderful to see uh, students blossom, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, and you get them before they have preconceived <laughs> notions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so uh, La Boheme, a lot of people may not have seen the opera, but they actually know the story because it's been uh, done in so many different incarnations. In fact, uh, the Broadway musical Rent, which was a huge hit some years back, was Very based big. on La Boheme. Mm -hmm. And uh, there have been a few Broadway productions, I believe. Basil Orman's Basil was, Orman. was one of the most uh, recent mm -hmm. ones. I went to see that. That was, that was very interesting to sit on the other side of the sure. footlights and watch it. It was huge. It was uh, like Moulin Rouge on the, on the stage of the theater there in New York. It was wild. That's very exciting. It was. Uh, for some folks that may not, uh, they've heard of La Boheme, but they may not know the opera. What, are, are there some famous arias, songs that people may know? Uh, in the first act, the tenor has uh, Che Gelida Manina, which a lot of people know. It's, a, it's uh, one of those arias that everyone is looking forward to. And then uh, Mimi sings Mi Chiamo no Mimi. Mimi. And then uh, My Name is Mimi, but it's really Lucia. Okay. So, so, <laughs> so now, now, basically the story, this is a, a, a young Bohemians in, mm. in Paris or? In Paris. Mm -hmm. um, Artists, types. They are, you have uh, Rodolfo, who is the poet. Mm -hmm. You have Chonard, who is the musician. You have Marcello, who is the painter. And you have Colline, who is our philosopher. I see. So and they all live together in one They're poor one struggling big room. artists. A poor struggling artists can and barely find their next meal. Uh -huh. <laughs> and everybody falls in love with everybody and there's a... Well, there's a couple of love stories going on. Yes, uh, uh, Mimi has an encounter with Rodolfo. Uh, she comes to him because she needs her candle lit. Uh-huh. Which we, is a song that, that was in Which Rent. is in Rent. Rent. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and they fall in love <clears throat> at first sight. And there is another little story that's been going on between Musetta, who is um, a high, a, a lady who uh, loves men. Okay, She's I a lover said. of men. Okay, well said. And, well but said. she really loves Marcello. Uh -huh. And she also sings the very famous Quando Men Vo in the second act, which is beautiful and festive and full of energy. Well, and I know we have an a international cast. We have uh, singers from South America in this production. Uh, Gustavo, places. our Marcello, is from Argentina. Um, Svetlina, who I believe uh, audiences here will remember from from being here in the past is a, a beautiful, oh, what a gorgeous voice. She's a Bulgarian soprano. Mm. Um, and then we have some uh, is from- it, uh, Someone from Europe, uh, another European singer? Oh, uh, mm, I, I'm not exactly sure. Well, they're from all over the they're place. They're from all and over, they're from all over. And some the, are from here. Well, you know, yes, and, and uh, we must mention our wonderful local star, Sam Raimi, is also in the production. Known Sam for years, for oh, many years. Lovely man. And how fortunate Wichita is to have him back. Oh, yes, absolutely. And it is... And he also teaches, he uh, teaches at Wichita State mm -hmm. now as well. So and how lucky they are to have him. Absolutely, a, an international and a national treasure and uh, 
Kansas treasure as well. And he's doing, it's so, it's got to be so much fun because the, the roles of Benoit, and he's doing two roles. Uh -huh. One is in Act One, he plays Benoit the landlord. And in uh, the second act, he plays uh, Musetta Sugar Daddy, Al Cindoro. So he's double, double. He's double oh, cast. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's fun. It's a double bill for him, or double bill, double cast, but oh. they're fun. Yes. It, it just, it gives you a chance to see that wonderful comic side of Sam. Of course. You're Which so he is a very funny oh, in yeah, real absolutely. life. Oh, absolutely. He's very funny. You know, funny story. My, uh, we've known Sam uh, back from the time when we were all at New York City Opera. My husband was on a softball team with him, and he has a, a mitt at home that has written on it, first base, base. <laughs> which Sam gave to my husband. That's great. Little sidebar. That is great. Uh, now, uh, before I let you go, I do, I, I do want to ask. Now, so would we call La Bohème a, a tragedy or a comedy or a love a romance, or is it all of those things at once? I think it's all of those things. Okay. Um, it doesn't have a happy ending. When we first meet Mimi. She, well, we, we don't want to give any we spoilers. We don't want to, well, but we know she's not well. We know something's coming. We yeah. know something's coming, and it progresses hmm. throughout the opera, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have a happy so ending. So it's, it's a little sad, but not it's, a it's, heavy tragedy. It still makes me tear up every Good. time I hear it. Right. Well, we love that, and it's, it's, again, such an honor to have artists like yourself. Oh, thank and you. And all of these international singers come to Wichita. Oh, it's exciting. It's, it's very exciting for the The caliber the is yes. wonderful. Oh, and I have to give a plug to the chorus. Oh, Because they're very, very busy. We have, we have a chorus running around. We have children from a local school who are participating. We have some actors who are our waiters in the second act. And they've, I have been working with them, and they are so enthusiastic and so energetic. It's Extremely, wonderful. it's very generous of you to mention that because uh, there are no small parts. There are no small parts, uh, and we love community involvement. Yes, and, and that's something the opera's been trying to do here. Uh, one other thing before I let you go, because I know you're very busy. Um, uh, what is it like as a director of opera? Because I know that in the world of opera, uh, most singers come in with their roles learned. Hopefully. And hopefully. <laughs> and they sing, you know, they work with the conductor a lot. Mm -hmm. So as the director, are you, are, are you less likely to direct them their acting? Are you more interested in staging? Or are you a director that also likes to help coach them emotionally? To, to act as well I, as Well, sing. I usually with artists of this caliber, they have a, a, a wonderful idea of where they want mm -hmm. to go with their characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them are, some of them may be doing the role for the first time. Some of them may not have done it for quite a while. Mm. Um, and I, of course, as a director, have my own ideas. Mm -hmm. um, so what we try to do is form a a, a cohesiveness mm -hmm. uh, so that no one really stands out but the main Everybody's thing on the same page. everyone is on the same page mm -hmm. and and what I really like to to find uh, in these pieces especially the ones that are are so familiar to many mm -hmm. audience members that honesty yes that honesty so that that's great even if you uh, w your life is nothing like it uh, you've never lived in a coal garret mm -hmm. in, in Paris. Mm -hmm. Still, there is something about these characters that, that you can relate to mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and see the beauty in. Now, were, you, did, were you a performer yourself? A singer? Oh, or? years ago, oh. but I gave that up really oh, early. I was going to say, could you sing something for us? Oh, no, you I'm don't kidding. want to hear that. <laughs> That's always the most awkward, <laughs> awful thing, isn't it? When somebody, you don't, uh, I can uh, sing Marcello. Or, uh -huh. or <laughs> It would well, be about I, two octaves lower. No, I, I, love, I love that answer because honesty and telling the truth in any form of theater uh, is what it's all about. And if you can have magnificent singing, and I'm sure we're going to have gorgeous oh. costumes and sets. Oh, absolutely. 
So uh, uh, telling the story in a really honest way is, is special. So I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Cannot Good. wait to see it. And we're so happy to have you here. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure to Delighted meet you. Delighted to be here. And we're going to uh, let you know how you can get tickets.